Hi guys, good evening. Uh, today's video is about uh, explanation of interpolation. So, I will discuss about uh, interpolation on how to derive the answers to the interpolation. So, let's start guys. So, with this program, which is titled uh, How to Find Cream, when handling several moderate weights so this is a, a seven hold vessel or Panamax and his initial uh, drop which is even kill is forward 13.295 and up is 13.295 and mean drop is 13.29 so it's an even kill so um, we, with this uh, mean drop, uh, we can find, we can interpolate the LCF, the value of LCF, the value of MTC, and the value of TPC. Okay. So, with this uh, example, with this TPC of, here's a, uh, here's a me, uh, final drop, ceiling drop of, 13.452 13 point which is the final uh, departure or departure drop 13.452 which is this one Thirteen point four five two, which is the mean drop which is the this is the sailing drop forward is 13.45 and up is 13.45 Four five, so it's also, it's also an even kill. So this is the departure drop, and we have to get this uh, TPC, the value of TPC, which is sixty four point five three, to get this uh, recommended cargo to load for trimming. So with this formula, which is K eight, which is the sinkage which is 157 times 100 times M3 which is this one so this uh, sinkage of 0.157 times 100 times TPC of 64.53 you will get the value of 1013 which is the recommended for trimming okay so let, let's let's uh, concentrate on this mean drop This one, how did he get this TPC? Okay, so I have here already a format. Okay, let's uh, make this a little bigger. Okay, so this is the uh, mid draft of 13.452 this one and we will interpolate what will be his value of the TPC of this mid draft so we uh, we will uh, solve the problem how to get this 64.53 so in between 13 13.45 uh, 13.45 13 so it's in between 13.40 and 13.60. So it's in between this one. And we're going to interpolate tip the TPC, which is uh, column number six. Uh, column number C, I'm sorry. So it is in between this one, 64.5 and 64.6. So it's in between here. Okay, so the value of 13.40 is 13.40 is 64 64.50 64 and the value of 13.6 is 64.60 64.60 so we don't know the value of this one 
of the mid so we will interpolate first thing we do is we subtract on the upper part you can choose the lower part or the upper part but I've choose the upper part so we start with these two, val two values with this uh, figure 13.45 to minus minus 13.40 which is this one number one 13.54452 to minus 13.0 is 0 0.052 and the next number two is this the extremes this one and this one so 13.6 which is this one minus 13.4 which is this one and equals to 0 0.20 on the other side this would be x because we don't know the value so if you subtract this one we don't know the value so you put x here number three and number four the extremes on the upper part also since upper part on the other side so we use also the upper part so 64.6 this one minus 64.5 is 0 0.10 so take this uh, amount or this value so with this 0 0.52 over 0 0.20 equals x over 0 0.10 okay then we cross multiply so 0 0.52 times 0 0.10 which is this one and you multiply, multiply this one and that will be uh, point 0 0.20x okay so multiply this one that will be this will be the value point point 0.0052 if you multiply this two and this will be the same 0 0.20x so to get the value of x you put 0 0.020 down will be said this will be divisor or it will be divided so 0 0.0052 which is this one divided by 0 0.020 and the answer will be 0 0.026 okay so that will be the x the value of x since you uh, you choose uh, the upper part and you have to, you, uh, you should examine if it will be decreasing or increasing so in this part because he is in between here this one is increasing going up meaning to say whatever the, val the value that we have here will be added to this one so meaning to say the value of 0 0.026 should be added to 64.5 this one so this one 64.5 plus 0 0.026 the value will be 64.526 and to round it up it will be 64 0.53 which is the same as this one so that's how you get the value of 13.452 and the TPC will be 64.53 okay now we will now we will now concentrate on this uh, initial drop which is a uh, mean drop of 13.25 we will get the value of LCF MTC and TPC okay 
by interpolation. Okay. So we start with the MTC. So the initial drop, mean drop is 13.295, which is this one. 13.295. Okay. And he is in between 13.20 and 13.4. Okay. We will check the hydrostatic table. 13.20. This one. And he is in between 13.20 and 13.40. And we again, we are looking for the value of MTC, which is uh, letter D. So, 13.20 is 982, 982, 982, here 982, and 13.4 is 986.3, 986.4 here, 986.3, so that's correct. So, we will now interpolate, we, we uh, choose the upper portion. So you subtract this one, which is 13.295 minus 13.20 equals 0 0.095. And the extremes, 13.0, 13.40 and minus 13.20, which is this one, equals 0 0.20. Okay. And the other side, this is the value of x, because we don't know the value of this one. You put x. And the extremes, 986, which is this one, minus 982, which is this one, is, is 4.3. So, but then we put here 0 0.9095 over 20, 0 0.20 equals x over 4.30 you cross multiply 0 0.095 times 4.3 equals equals no, cross multiply equals 0 0.20x the value of this one when multiplied is 0 0.4085 equals 0.20x, you put the 20 down, then 0.4085 over 0 0.20, which is division, and the value of this one, when you divide, is 2.04425. Okay, we will check. Equals. This one. You divide by this one. Equals. So this is the answer, okay? That's the correct answer. Now since you choose on the upper part, you will uh, try to look if it is increasing or decreasing. Because it's in between. So this one is going up. And this one is also going up. Meaning, if it is increasing, you add. So... 982 982 plus this one plus 2.0425 this will be the answer 984.04 which is your MTC okay MTC MTC is MTC is 984.04 984.04 okay then we look for the LCF uh, TPC 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 that's LCF and TPC so with with the same figures one is 13.20 this is your mid mean drop 
and your 13.40 and the value of 13.20 uh, in TPC I'm sorry 13.20 that will be excuse me TPC TPC is column C so 13.20 of TPC is 64.4 there and 13.40 of TPC and the value 13.40 TPC is 64.5 64.5 okay so subtract this one with this 13.295 minus 13.20 equals 0 0.095 and subtract this one of the extremes of 13.40 13.20 minus 13.20 is equals 0 0.20 and this one will be x and minus this one that will be 64.5 minus 64.4 that will be 0 0.10 okay then by equation this will be 0 0.95 over 0 0.20 equals x over 10 or 0 0.10 and cross multiply this will be 0 0.095 times 0 0.10 what is cross multiply that will be 0 0.20x then you bring down this figure down that will be 0 0.0095 over 0 0.20 this division equals x because you put it down and this one was divide by 0 0.20 was this one that's correct so 0 0.0475 okay and since you choose the upper part it is increasing okay increasing so that will be plus so that will be 64.4 which is this one the upper part was here which is 64.4 click that one then you add this one this value plus say plus here and this value equals 64.45 will be your TPC okay 64.5 the check TPC is 64.5 okay then we go now to the uh, LCF okay With the same for the 13.20 then you have the mean wrap then you have 13.40 and the value of 13.20 LCF LCF is letter F so 13.20 letter F is 0 0.26 0 0.26 and 13.40 is 40 13.40 is 0 0.38 0 0.38 okay then subtract this one 13.259529 minus 13.20 is 0 0.095 subtract the extreme 13.40 minus 13.20 equals 0 
this one is x because you're looking for the value and the extremes is 0 0.38 minus 0 0.2 say equals 0 0.12 okay then you cross multiply 0 0.095 times 0 0.12 you will this one then cross multiply, cross multiply this will be 0 0.20x you bring down multiply these two 0 0.95 times 0 0.12 uh, Take this okay, equals here, put equals, multiply this one, and this two, equals, times this one cross multiply equals that will be this one oh copy para makita yes. mm -hmm. equals times this one equals uh, that will be Okay, that will be zero this one okay then you bring down 0 0.20 here then you buy this one uh, that will be what's here divide by this one and the answer will be 0 0.7 this one okay now you you again check if it is increasing or decreasing it is increasing so the but is in between so it's increasing so you add 0 0.26 that will be equals equals here equals 0 0.26 you have this value then you plus because it's increasing value of this one and that will be zero, 0 0.32 is your LCF. Check your LCF here. There you are. So it is, uh, it is the, how you interpolate the value. So it's a matter of interpolation. So, okay. Then, uh, from number six now this is a uh, this is form number six which is a uh, how to trim how to find trim when handling several moderate weights so we'll check down and uh, we go to the hydrostatics table okay
the this is form number six so this is we have already interpolated this one the LCF MTC and TPC okay I show you the interpolation of this value so that's it guys we check again 32 98 0 4 6 4 .5, 32 98 4 0 4 and 6 4 0 5 and this is the one guys okay then we go to this is on the hydrostatic table then we go to form number 8 form number 8 this is form number 8 Form number eight is required trim at departure to arrive even kill. So this is uh, our previous uh, video where we are going to arrive in Panama of even kill. And what will be our trim or departure drop out New Orleans or Baton Rouge? So here we we'll just concentrate on this one. How to get this? this displacement and the LCB since we have a, a drop of 13 13 meters exactly so you have to get this displacement and LCB of 13 meters so go to the hydrostatic table and look for 13 meters 13 meters here so 13 meters, the displacement is 76952. 76952. You go for, for number 8. Displacement is 76952. So it's correct. So it's easy to find this one because round numbers. And the LCB is negative 6.8. So you go to a table, you go to 13 meters. LCB is negative 6.8 which is this one that is letter E LCB so you go to 30 meters and that will be negative 6.8 to go to form number 8 so that's it guys okay and then I go down I mean, I just, I just add the table. This is we will. Uh, the system here is we're going to compute for the displacement of twelve point nine seventy seven. So here we will put only the displacement look if I take out the displacement look what happens so there's no value the draft displacement TPC MTC LCB and LCF and KB and TKM but when I put the displace the displacement it will have value why because it has already a formula here this one and this one so it is already programmed guys and every cell has a program except for this one okay and here's program 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 support and so on on see program 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 and program so there's no computation that you have to do here it's already programmed by already uh, made a program for you to to just look at it and there's already programmer programmer who have done this so so let's go back to old uh, form number six okay 
Now, by uh, by this uh, form, uh, he has to arrive even kill in Panama. So, in uh, in here we just go to number seven he has already a displacement here of seven four nine three one eight this is the new displacement because uh he's already added weight here added weight in fo fuel tank 4c of 227 and press water of 50 tons plus and he has a consumption of 75 metric tons so with displacement new displacement will be 749318 as yes, he has a new lcg of 6 6.68.5 and still be his uh, long uh, longitudinal uh, longitudinal mo moment this one okay and he has a arrival at lo the loading berth, he has you know, press water of one density water of one point zero zero zero. Okay, so with this density, what will be his new displacement? And that will be this one. Okay, and this is the formula. So this is uh, this is the displacement here. This will be the constant of density. How do you get this one? This is the formula. So when you use, when you you arrive uh, when you in a loading berth, when you have a density one point zero, what will be your density here? So that will be the formula is F twenty one, which is this one seven. 74931 which is this one times the constant of 1.025 over g23 it's 23 this will be your density at birth okay so this is the formula guys uh, F21, which is uh, the displacement, which is this one, and times 1.025, the constant, divide, divide, the density at loading bird, which is this one. So we'll try to compute, guys. So first, we use this one. So that will be... One point zero two five divide divide the density density which is this one uh, okay let was one point zero two five divide divide the density of 1.00 press water will be 1.025 okay the answer to this one is 1.025 times the displacement so here displacement multiply by this one times I'm sorry times this was the times there times okay once again displacement times this one was here you got guys this is the answer so this is with the density of 1.00 this will be your displacement 
085.1 so this is how you get this one guys okay I repeat I repeat again so we first uh, do this um, division okay, equals 1.025 which is this one divide the density of 1.00 and that will be 1.025 with this one then it should be multiplied by the displacement of this one or this one so here equals F21, which is this one, okay, times, times, you say times here, displacement of this one that we have uh, before, and that will be 7605.1, okay, so, okay, so this is how we get this one, no? Now, with this cell, this is H, or column H, and uh, row 25. So remember this one, column H and row 25, okay? Then we go to the hydrostatic table. Okay? So this displacement this displacement we're going this one we're going to put it here in this in this column of this cell we're going to put it here okay again form number 8 seven six eight zero point five or this one we'll just use this one okay if you want to use this one this should be but uh, this is the right answer anyway it's the same okay we use this one uh, okay what you do is plus just say plus here and then you click then you click this one H H25 then you put enter then here you are 76085.1 and you have all here the figures here 12 here, here, there so it is already programmed guys so all you have to do is put this displacement here now with this uh, values we will now put uh, fill up these values okay so it is here corresponding displacement of a determined drop of this one the corresponding drop is 12.977 with this displacement okay so drop check and what will be LCG negative 6.685 LCG LCG uh, excuse me LCG 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 where's the LCG here LCG ah okay sorry huh LCG here is this one new LCG this is LCG negative 6685 this one and number 9 LCB LCB is negative 6.8183 LCB is negative 6 point one eight three negative negative six 
one a three okay and the mtc okay what is mtc mtc is nine seven six nine five one nine seven six nine five one okay and his uh, lcf lcf is zero point one zero three 0 0.103 okay and what will be his so that's it guys only up to this one trimming arm trimming arm is H27 what will be H H27 will be this one and 28 subtract this one you will have 0 0.13 and your trimming moment this is a formula guys okay uh, h31 h31 will be this one times h25 multiply this one by h25 will be your displacement and you will, but this will be the value of training moment. Training moment required trim one on red, one on so forth. Say, and they have the formula here, then you have a formula here and formula there. Okay, so that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you will uh, follow up with what I have explained. And if you like it, just check like and share if you want to share and subscribe thank you very much for listening have a good day